Okay, so what I'll do now is briefly discuss the concept of differentials. So remember when we talked about integration, we introduced a method for evaluating integrals, which we call substitution, which was basically the idea of doing a change of variables inside an integral. So what we did was uh, introduce a function or a variable u, which was a function of x. But then once we, if we want to do this change of variable inside the integral, we also have to transform dx into du. And the way I told you to do that was to take the derivative here du dx, which is f prime of x, and then somehow multiply, quote, uh, by dx to get the change of dx in terms of du as being du is equal to f prime of x dx. Now, it doesn't really make sense to multiply by dx, but I told you that this was rigorous and it was well defined in terms of calculus, so now I just want to fill the gap. This is the idea of differentials, so I just want to briefly discuss what these are. Okay, so we defined a differential dy of a function y equals f of x as being exactly the expression above, so dy is equal to f prime of x dx, but here I'm treating dx as an independent variable, so dy, the differential, really is a function, two variables, x and dx. Right. If I write the same thing now in Leibniz notation, then I get that dy is equal to dy dx, that's the derivative, times dx. So now you see that it does make sense to multiply dx if you, enter, if you understand things in terms of differentials, uh, or in other words, it makes sense to regard the derivative as the quotient of differentials. So that's uh, the idea here that makes this manipulation rigorous. The u here is really a differential of the function u equals f of x. Okay, so the reason I'm introducing that right now is that the geometric meaning of differentials is easier to understand once you know about linearizations. So let me now uh, define or study what this is. So let's go back to linearizations. So uh, if I have a function, in this case x squared, and I'm at a point x, then the linearization, the idea of linearization is to replace the function by the equation of the tangent line. Okay, good. Now what I could do is the following. Suppose I take a different point, x plus dx, recall that here dx is just seen as a, a number. So I take a different point, x plus dx, and I have a, a, a point on the curve, x plus dx, and the value of the function at this point. Now I could define, I could calculate the difference here between the value of the function at x plus dx and at x, could call that delta y, say, so that would be f of x plus dx minus f of x. And now I see, uh, or I will see, that uh, the differential here is in fact uh, very uh, closely connected to that. It's just obtained from that by replacing the function by its linearization. So recall from the previous video that the linearization of my function here would be given by replacing the function by its tangent line. So here at x plus dx, what I would get is the value of the function at the point x plus the value of the derivative at the point x times the difference between the two points, which is just dx. Okay. So that would be my linearization. Now what I can do is just uh, replace here in this quotient the function by its linearization. What will I get? So f of x plus dx will now become f of x plus f prime of x dx minus f of x, which is really just f prime of x dx, which is what I call the differential dy in my previous slide. So what you see here is that dy, instead of, so delta y calculated the difference in the function values between x plus dx and x, dy will now calculate the difference here, but between the function value of the linearization of the function. So if you replace the function by its linearization and calculate the difference between the, the values of the linearization, you end up with a differential. Now, of course, you see that if you take dx very, very small, then both will become very close. So uh, the, the differential will become the same. So in other words, the linearization becomes a better and better approximation of the function. All right, so this is the geometric point of view of differentials. But we're, we're not going to study differentials much further in this class, so I might do one or two examples in class where we can use differentials to calculate propagation of errors in physics, but that's going to be about it. So the importance is that you know that it exists, and it makes the manipulations that we've done before, like multiplying by dx, totally well-defined.